Hello? Where are you? Right, give me two minutes. You look great. You can tell it to you about yourself. When did you get back? A couple of hours ago. Where's Pete? Meeting up with a couple of his cronies. Catching up with business, I think he said. Hmm. One minute you were in, the next you were gone. Hasn't got anything to do with Vince Garrison getting shot, has it? It's pretty obvious. If Pete goes missing the day he's killed and he drags you off with him. Can't you stop being a copper just for a minute? Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> I can't believe you're here. You're all I've been thinking about for weeks. That's good to know. No, ever since we left, all I wanted to do was come back. And I would have if I could. Is this right? I've been told in search of Pete Lost. Yeah. Okay, You've got a witness who says Lanson killed Vince Garrison. But when did this happen? Just now. Evans' statement is good, but we couple it with a bit of physical evidence even better. Um, look. Given my situation with Louise, do you think I should be on this search? I thought you'd be chomping at the bit. Well, I am, but... <laughs> that he almost caught me and Louise in bed together around there, and... I just don't want to put her in any more danger. Then you shouldn't have started sleeping with her. If you want to miss out on nailing Larson, it's your choice. Looks like he's been expecting us. He's been expecting us for years. It isn't our local Dixon and Doc Green. Mr. Larson. <coughs> Don't worry. She's vegetarian. I have a warrant. Search these premises, Mr. Larson. I'd like for you to come down to the station and answer a few questions. Am I under arrest, officer? Not yet. What's going on? Nothing for you to worry about, darling. Just going to go and help these nice policemen with their inquiries. I'm sure Sergeant Smith can look after you while I'm gone. See you later. We think we can tie Pete to the Vince Garrison murder. Let's get on then. Come. Come. Remember, Come. anything that Larson's shooting at is going to give us a better chance of putting him away, all right? Uh, Sarge, what about the dog? I'll lock her up in the back room. I can't allow myself to think about that now. I can't believe you came here. Pete saw you like he's seen you here before. I'm on police business. There is nothing to worry about. We just have to stay calm, okay? Let's not talk here. Okay, let me sort the dog out and we can go upstairs. Dog! Hello? Smithy. Larson's told us he's got an alibi for the time Garrison was murdered. Then why doesn't that surprise me? Who is it? His wife. Listen, I'll check the location they said they were at, but we need to talk to her. Will you ask her if she'll come into the station? Yeah, okay. Hello. Thanks. Peter's named you as his alibi. Vince was my friend. I wouldn't murder anyone, I couldn't. It's not in my nature. Any idea who could? Somebody with a grudge. Maybe upset somebody. Pushed his luck a little bit too far. And how would he do that? He might have got ideas about his station. His ambition always outweighed his abilities. I used to say to him, Vince, one of the greatest tricks in life is to know your place in the world. The other 
is to stay there. We've got officers checking the restaurant you said you were at. I don't doubt it. They'll check credit card, restaurant bills. You never use credit cards in a restaurant. I mean, you can never trust the bloke behind the bar, can you? You could be having your off hundreds. Always pay cash. And obviously you booked the table in your name. False names. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, it's my wife's idea. She's a born romantic. So, I can go then. Unless you've got something to charge me with. Have you got something to charge me with? Oh, you're not backing up his alibi. Of course I am. You can't be serious. You were nowhere near him. You were with me. I'm his wife. And he is a murderer. What do you expect me to do? I don't have a choice here. This could be what we've been waiting for. If he goes down for this... There's then... no way he's going down for this. Well, no, not if you give him an alibi, he won't. I'm giving him an alibi because he won't. If I stand against him, I end up as dead as Garrison. And if you don't, then you'll never get away. This is everything that we've been hoping for. Do you still want to be with him? Of course not. Well, I don't have a choice. If the right chance comes up, I'll take it. This is the first time you've been here. I have been here time and time again. I know the drill far better than you. So watch and learn. If I don't give Pete an alibi, I sign my own death warrant. Is that what you want? Is it? No. All I want is for us to be together. Look, there is one thing. What? That day that Garrison got shot, Pete had a gun. What, here? Then where is it? I don't know. Oh, Louise, come on. Look, all I know is, is that Pete had it with him when he came home. But he didn't take it when we left, so... It's got to be here. If you can find it. Then we've got him. I booked the restaurant myself. We hadn't spent a lot of time together in a while. It was a chance to catch up. Under what name did you book the table? Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's a private joke between me and Pete. Right. Um, you say your husband paid the bill in cash? Yeah, he always does. He says it's easier to wangle a discount if you do. Hard to barter with a credit card. Mrs. Larson, you are aware that a man was murdered, got shot on the head on the afternoon in question? I am aware of that, yes. Vince was a close friend. Pete was extremely upset when he heard what happened. Mrs. Larson, I feel I should inform you that if we find your alibis false, then you could be charged with perverting the course of justice. You're lying, Mrs. Larson. You know it and I know it. Prove it. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? No, that'll be all. Thanks for your cooperation. Decent idea, I think we're finished here now. What's that all about, isn't it? Oh, come on, you didn't buy that. She's covering for him. You wading in like that didn't help. I told you I'd do the talking. She's giving him an alibi. Doesn't matter. The witness has folded. Evans has withdrawn his statement. Why? When? According to the custody sergeant, Evans' solicitor had a long chat with Larson's solicitor and... He got to Evans through his brief. Either they're leaning on him or they're paying him off. Either way, they made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Brilliant. So we've got nothing on Larson. Absolutely nothing. I don't know what message Larson sent, but it certainly hit the target. Evans is terrified. Just wants out. What do we do now? Release Larson. His brief is already screaming blue murder. That means we'll have to call off the search. I want everyone out before the Larsons get back. Well, what if there's evidence in there and we don't get it? Then it's too late. Larson's free to go. We have no choice, DC Nadir. We have to stop the search. 
Okay. I'll let Sergeant Smith know. Okay. What? Evans has withdrawn his statement. Good job. Well, Louise backed up her husband's story, so we've got nothing. You've got to call the search off. Well, we can't. Not yet. Larson's about to be released. Do you know where it is? Well, no. We'll be tearing the place apart. How long have we got? I don't know, about 20 minutes. Look, you've got to get the search team out before the last ones get home. I'm going to come over and help you look. Right, everyone, we've got 10 minutes. Anything? From nothing. Okay, I'm going to continue checking up here. Well, I'm going to go downstairs. Hello? Terrific. They've just released Larson. They're signing him out now. Look, I know that the gun's here. We need more time. OK, well, let's not waste what we've got. I'm going to go down to the corner of Stanbeck Avenue. They'll have to pass that on their way here. As soon as I see them, I'll let you know. Okay. You've got about five minutes. Right. Next time you want to act on duff information, I suggest you think it through. Having a badge doesn't give you the right to throw around whatever allegations you like. We had a reliable line of inquiry to follow, Mr. Larson. Not that reliable, obviously. We'll get him. It's only a matter of time. I wish I had your face. He's too cocky. Just slip up one day, and when he does, we'll be there. Do you? Hello, you've reached Smithy. Come on, I'm not here to take your calls, I'll leave a message. Smithy, I don't know what you're playing at, but they've just passed me. You've got two minutes tops, now get out of there. Smithy, where have you been? Look, I've just got a signal back. How long? They're on their way. You've got to get out of there, I'll drive around and pick you up. Something wrong with the car. 